Hello guys, back with another lockdown episode and this week I would like to show you guys how I've gone about making the holds for the home training board. Yes, I have bought some holds. We've bought some holds from Silly Goat and they are absolutely incredible. Um, I've also got some Metolia sort of small plastic edges on here as well now. But I'd still say that a majority of the holds on this board have actually been handmade by me and Sienna. So yeah, this week I thought I'd give you guys an insight into how we've gone about doing that. Um, so yeah, let's go check it out. So I've got this off cut of oak here um, and what I'm going to do is cut this down to size so it's a bit more manageable to use. Um, just that would be the first kind of step. Now I've got my bit of wood that I'm going to be working on um, for this hold and at the moment it could just be a really nice fat pinch like that but I've already got a few of those on the board. So what I'm thinking of doing is, is as I said, is make a narrow pinch. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see this, is there are some splits going down the middle of this wood. So what I'm going to do is uh, use these to my advantage and hopefully just use my little axe which I'll show you now split this hop, split this bit of wood and hopefully that'll save me a load of sawing and maybe even give me a really cool shape to work with. Give it a whack. Oosh. Split those. So what I'm left with after splitting it is two bits. So I've got this bit here and I've got this bit here. Now this one has actually got quite a nice hold shape already. There's almost like a little in-cut bit for the thumb, very ergonomic, but that's not what I'm after. I want, I want to I want to have to really try hard to hold onto it. So I'm thinking I might use this geezer. And you can kind of see on this side, it's sort of sloping in a bit here. So if I take that edge off there, maybe take the edge off here a bit, um, it will uh, be well hard to hold. Look at that. That's worked quite well. It's kind of taken off that top corner. I've still got a very flat side here, so I might even try and get rid of that top corner as well. Hey, are It's all coming together. So yeah, what I tend to do now is actually just like get the axe and use it to shape the hold a little bit more doing little cuts like this. Anyway, it's time for some sexy shots of Whitman. I think it's uh, shaping up quite nicely. Um, pretty tall, um, and because you can get quite a few fingers on there, I've got a funny feeling that it might actually be quite easy to hold. But that's not actually a bad thing. Um, always good to have a warm up on there. It might even help me do some sort of really big, big moves on there. What I tend to do is try and make sure that there's no sharp edges on on the hold. I'm going to soften everything up, continuing with the sort of whittling theme using a kind of bush knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. Um, but yeah, take the knife and quite literally just shaping it again with the knife. But yeah, you can already see just by doing that, that edge has kind of gotten a lot smoother on the top, which just means there's less chance of you cutting your, cutting your hands. So we're going to do the same thing on these sides here, just to make sure it's nice and safe to put on there. There we go. So just sort of taking off some of those edges. The knife is a bit smoother on the sides now. Hopefully you won't catch your hands so much. 
Um, but of course this is all still quite rough, so I kind of need to um, sand it down a bit and maybe sort of finesse the shape. Yeah, I still think it's going to be quite, actually quite, quite a comfortable hold to hold. It's actually not going to be as hard as I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, still looking forward to getting it on the board. So uh, let's get the sander out and get our sanding. smooth now, no sharp edges on it, um, oak finishes up quite nicely, we like to finish it off with some hand sandpaper just to really smoothen it up, I'm use this P120, um, yeah just going to look for the, for the old hand sand. Voila! Super smooth now, silky to the touch, um, ready to be drilled, not in a dirty way, filthy buggers. So this is probably the part of the process that I'm, I've got the least nailed. I'm generally just finding a spot on the hold and hoping that I can drill all the way through to the bottom. Accurate. Accuracy is key, right? So yeah, that's the uh, holes drilled into it. And now what I've been doing is putting in like a, using this 12 mil wood bit just to kind of make a little countersink. Two. So that should be enough space for the washers to sit into. Just into those. Just gonna smoothen off the outsides of these with some sandpaper, maybe a knife. Oosh! There you go. Hold made. Jobs are good in. Now I've just gotta whack it onto the board and have a little sesh. I think I'm gonna put it up in this space that I've got up here. Pop them in. Um, now my general process with working out how, where I'm going to put the holds is to firstly if you've got a big gap on the board obviously it's nice to maybe fill that because it just opens up a new option um, but rather than just bosh it in there and just for the sake of there being a gap um, I like to try and think about where I might be coming from so I've got a lot of holds down over here which are good for just like throwing off um, and then further up I've ended up with quite a lot of small edges which are maybe not so good for doing big moves and jumping to. Um, so I'm thinking this guy is actually quite good, he's quite positive. So I think pop him up here just so I've got something big to kind of hoon up to and latch onto without popping tendons left, right and centre. There she is, there she blows. Pretty big, it looks quite cool. Quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the old shoes, have a little, uh, little go on it. So what I thought I'd do is try and set a route that uses this hold, um, just see if I can do it and try and make it quite hard, um, just to see if it's actually a decent hold or if I've just made a complete turn. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Missed the pad entirely. That's well hard. Ah! Yeah, look, we have a pad. We have a lovely pad. Beyond hope, sort me out with a materialist pad. Um, so I think I'm just going to try the move to this to see if I can get it. Um, it's so smooth. I've sanded it so much that it's like super slippery, like a fish. That's cool. You've really got to squeeze 
really squeeze it because it's kind of negative this way and that way so you don't get any ink cut. That's hard. Time to see if it's the goer from the bottom. Go a go. No. Oh, it's it's cruel. You think you've got it, and then you just slide straight off. I, I was, I mean, midway through this video, I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be actually quite, quite an easy hold. But how it's on the board, it really doesn't seem to be be the case. But I'm determined, and I get this. <laughs> Did it! Oh, he's a tricky one. I'm well happy with him. Yes, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video on how we've gone about making the holds for the uh, home training board. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, comment below, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, ding the old bell, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one very soon. Bye!